the Democratic Party, the Democratic field of candidates are coming together, right? Bernie Sanders announced earlier this week. And now America, now don't get me wrong, I love Bernie, just like the next person. I do love Bernie, because I think Bernie is like all of our consciences. Who's like, hello, hello, there's a fire. Love Bernie Sanders. He's not gonna be the nominee, that's, that's reality. He's raised $3 million, but $3 million does not get you, to get you to the dance, unfortunately. But I do think that there's a place with Bernie Sanders. I think his job, just and also Martin O'Malley, if he decides to run, their job is to move the party and move the nominee, whoever it might be, to the left. Or to the right. To the left, rather. That's right. Especially on the issue of climate change. Right? Now, everybody remember John Edwards, right? John Edwards was a candidate at the beginning who came up with this robust plan on how to, you know, get rid of, you know, basically slow down climate change. And then every other candidate in the race, on the right, on the left, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, everybody had to come up with a plan on what they were going to do with carbon emissions. So John Edwards pulled the conversation to the left when it comes to the environment. Bernie Sanders has that same role this time around, right? Hillary Clinton is clearly, she's favored to be the nominee. But Hillary Clinton has to also lay out a progressive message that we could all agree with. Right? Something that all progressives can get down with. A true populist message. And that populism includes populism for our environment. Meaning, we need to make sure the water we eat, the water we breathe, the water we drink, and the air we breathe is clean. Right? We need to leave the, we need to leave the environment better than we found it for our children. Bernie Sanders is a big believer. He believes there should be this ridiculous carbon tax. Ridiculous. Boondoggly ridiculous. The businesses aren't going to go for it. But it does give space for Hillary Clinton to come in and say... I don't believe the carbon tax should be this big, but it should be sizable and run on that. And I think the American people are looking for corporations to pay their fair share. If you're going to pump really bad air, really bad crap into our air, then you should pay. You should pay for us to clean that crap up. It's just common sense. Isn't it, America? Maybe not to you, but to the rest of us, that seems to be very commonsensical, right? Hope you agree. Either way. I think that there's a space, there, and not only on this issue, but I think a lot of other issues, there's definitely the space for Bernie Sanders to pull Hillary Clinton to the left. And that's what the American people are looking for. They're looking for a candidate that can identify with their issues, a candidate that could work on solving some of the major problems facing this country. A candidate that said, you know what, I'm unabashedly progressive, I believe in raising the minimum wage, I believe in making sure that every child goes to bed on a full stomach. I be, believe in making sure that every child has a high quality neighborhood public school they can go to. I believe that every family should have access to resources so they could either one, have a job, two, keep a job, or three, get a job. I want to make sure there's enough jobs in our economy it means that we're going to have to slow down some of all these crazy ass trade policies, right, and really work on instead of building bridges in Iraq and Afghanistan, let's build some bridges right here in America. Right? And if you can get a candidate that outlines that strategy, that outlines that plan, that candidate will win this election. And that is why you have somebody like Bernie in the race to make sure Hillary Clinton moves to the left a little bit, does a little shuffle to the left so that everybody can win. Right? That is what, that is what politics is all about.